Hey, hey, welcome back to the Dave Kittle Show. I'm Dave Kittle, owner of Concierge Pain Relief Home Physical Therapy in New York City and the CEO of the Fieldmaker Group. We're currently speaking with owners about partnering or acquiring some or all of their practice right now in the New York and New Jersey area. And today we have my buddy, physical therapist and colleague, Michael Laviolette on the show. We're gonna cover a bunch of things. We're gonna cover what you as a practice owner really care about, which is selling your practice for a higher dollar amount, potentially, as well as avoiding employee burnout. If you can avoid employee burnout, then you are retaining your team, hopefully longer or as long as possible, which then makes your practice a little more sellable because buyers like us see that these employees love what they do. They love where they are and some sprinkling of, of their health and wellness, as well as something that could be this overlooked component that could potentially help you as a practice owner, help your team as well. And on a tertiary level, helping your patients and clients. So we're gonna get into all that. That's a lot right now. Uh, Mike, welcome on the show. What's up? Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Uh, how are you doing, man? I'm feeling great. I, I know that uh, we spoke a lot behind the scenes about this. I wanted to get you on. Uh, you've also, so you're a licensed physical therapist in Massachusetts. You've also been my virtual health coach or health and wellness coach. How do, how do you term all this? How, what, what is your, your distinction or your, your, uh, your designation at this point? Yeah, I would say it's under the coaching umbrella. I'm a, I'm a PT, DPT, OCS. That's what I practiced as uh, for a while, left and, and started, started to do coaching. Yeah. And so th this is not this is not a paid placement. This is not an advertisement. I wanted you to come on here. I also have paid you to be my health coach. And what uh, what I've done with you, or what I guess what you had offered me, which was uh, first of all, we've known each other for I don't know at least five years, maybe longer, six years, something like that. Almost online, ten years, almost ten years, Dave. Oh, has it been almost ten years? Are we so we. I worked. Person? I worked for initial. Oh, that's right. That's right. Wow, another uh, another lifetime ago. So, um, geez, we, we've known each other. We've never met in person. Uh, we've known each other for years, all these uh, different physical therapy groups online and, and this, uh, you and I with Facebook. And so you were on my other show years ago, right? I think I had you on. We, we chatted, I think, some other years ago. Anyway. I was. So most recently, you offered me and others, and you had this offering that helped me. So basically what it is like one thing of many things, you're doing this coaching umbrella component, you're a physical therapist. Uh, we're going to get into the online thing that you do. And for me that you kind of offered me kind of, you know, mentioned like, Hey, you're busy. You're a business owner, practice owner. Um, but you have health and wellness goals. And I'm like, yeah, right. I'm busy. I'm a practice owner. Uh, but I want to work out and I do work out and I have health and wellness goals. And we got on a call or two and you had offered this digital remote programming component that would help where I don't have to figure out what to do when I work out. So I have a home gym. I actually have had a home gym before COVID. So before it was cool, before it was something, before people did it. Uh, so I have this home gym and I was you know, working out intermittently, no real plan. I would just go in like, you know, some days it's legs, some days it's like upper body. Some days I do a hit, you know, workout, uh, high intensity interval training, workout, whatever. Um, and fairly healthy in general, like probably just that baseline healthier than a lot of people. But you kind of asked me a bunch of questions and you did this like uh, consult with me. And we kind of found out like that I have other health and wellness goals. And, and one was like, I wasn't, there was no organized way to work out. Um, and so that was one thing that you helped me with, which is like, I could just follow your plan. You'll write me a plan based off of my equipment available, based off of my short-term and long-term health and wellness goals, and maybe based off of some other components of like my, like my interests or, or what I want to be able to do. And one thing was you asked me and I said, well, I want to, I want to break a sweat every day. So I want to work out every day and some days are heavier and some days are lighter and you know, but what I just, I was at the point where I was scheduling too many calls or too many work things. And like, I would just not have time to work out and you kind of helped me carve out time. This is a long winded intro, but basically like, I want to kick it over to you. So like you reach out to me, you have this thing, this offering that can help practice owners. It can potentially help their, their team members. I wanted you to get on this show and say, well, this could also potentially be a private pay cash-based service for patients or clients. 
let me just kick it over to you. Um, I've said a lot as, as the intro. So what, what do you got for me at this point, Mike? Yeah, well, well, you're right. I think someone in a position like you, someone who's building practice, someone who, I mean, has, has been in practice for years, you're busy, right? Like you, you're flying, you're going to different places, you got a show, you got a business. Uh, and then at the end of the day, you, you know, it's, it's like the empty, it's like the empty cup analogy, right? Like you've only got so much. And by the end of the day, you don't want to work out or you don't want to take care of the things that you need to take care of for yourself because you're busy taking care of your business. You're busy taking care of everything else that you need to take care of. Uh, and really to be top notch for all those things, you have to be healthy, right? Because it increases productivity, it increases, it increases clarity, it increases, it increases your energy in all those things you can accomplish. So you're going to be better in all those things. Right. And so that's really who I'm in this for. And, you know, if you've got a team, right. And so you have to do that to be able to even grow your practice. If you want to be healthy and, and not be burnt out yourself as you're building practice and by the end of the day, I mean, if you've got a family, if you've got a wife, you're going home to, and you just, you know, where are you crashing? You crash on the couch, crash in bed ex- immediately when you get home. This is one or the other. Right. Um, so, so that's really who I built it for. And, you know, I actually work with a lot of clinicians um, because they get burnt out. And by the end of the day, you know, they don't want to work out. They go home, they're bringing notes home. Um, and a lot of them, if you're watching this, you have, you have employees, a lot of them are burnt out. And part of that burnout is, is, is not exercise, not taking care of their health. And to really practice what they preach to have the conviction that, yeah, we're, you know, with that prognosis diagnosis, like this is what we're going to do. This is generally what makes better. And, and we're going to have you here in six to eight weeks to, to 12 weeks. Right. Uh, in order to have that conviction, you have to be confident in yourself. And if you're not confident in yourself, that's going to come through. And I think, I think that really comes through in a lot of newer clinicians where you probably see patients like come off the schedule because they're like, what does this person really know what they're talking about? But uh, if they feel healthy and they are healthy and they're confident, um, and then, then that conviction is going to come through and it's going to keep patience. So those, those are, you know, this is really, really who I made this service for was for people who are in businesses. They're, they're very busy, um, you know, practice owners, people who are physical therapists seeing a lot of patients per day. You know, I think the other thing too is with the burnout component, like they're ta- they're taking notes home. They're kind of all over the place in their head. Um, and, you know, if they are taking care of their health, they're going to be more focused. Uh, they're going to be more productive. Those, those are really important things. Um, and so I work with those things, exercise, nutrition, stress management, sleep hygiene, and the mindset that it takes to be successful as a clinician or as a practice owner. So yeah. that, that's, that's who I built this product for. Yeah. And the one thing that I liked was, so you built the program. So it was just like, whatever, the, whatever day you open the app and it shows my workout, like it, it says, do this. And we're going to, you can screen share in a little bit. Um, as an example, but like, do like today is like these five or eight or whatever exercises. And here's the exact amount of, uh, reps and sets. And obviously, you know, if you're the user, like you, there was like a, like a message box or or a text box where I could type in what weight I used, or did I do drop sets or did, you know, like, did I do more or less, uh, sets than whatever was, you know, prescribed or programmed in, in the actual structure of the workout, I could give some feedback there, but also there was digital feedback from you. So like, if I, if I didn't, you have to log into this, this software app and kind of check off the exercises. And sometimes in the beginning when I was getting used to it, and I think also midway of, of doing it, like sometimes I would just, I would actually go work out, but I wouldn't actually check off that I completed the workout. So then you would see it on your end. You'd reach out to me like, Hey Dave, like I saw the past two days, like you didn't enter your workout. Um, did you just forget about it? Like, or do you have some, you know, pain or injury? Like did something happen? Is everything all right? So you're the fact that I had digital eyes over my daily workouts and my weekly workouts, it made me even a little more accountable to like myself, I'm paying you. There's, there's some other forces here that made me want to 
continue to work out. It, it kept it a little more top of mind. I knew I had to have the time carved out. So it was a little more than just like before, where it was like, I would just go and like work out whatever time or like I may or may not even get to my workout. With your program, it's like, it's not like this. It's not like I'm on a Zoom call with you. You're not watching me work out, but it's like there was I, your eyes on what I was doing or, or the lack thereof. Yeah, the accountability aspect is here. So I want to, I want to touch on a couple of things. The first thing you said was that you're in New York. And when there are people, because I, I work with people all over the country, even all over the world, I've, I've had clinic owners actually in two clinic owners in the UK, uh, one person in El Salvador, in Canada. And it's really important that if, see, I'm only licensed in Massachusetts, right? So for me, it's really important to find someone, if, if one of my clients is in pain or has some kind of issue, it's really important for me to find somebody that I trust so that I can get them into PT. So that's one thing. And the other thing is if you're a practice owner and you're in one of your clinics, well, you know the clinicians are going to be doing what they're supposed to be doing because when the cat's away, the mice will play, right? So. Uh, they want to make you happier, right? If you're a clinic owner and just like, it, it's like that, you know, that you're supposed to be doing something and when you know, you have those eyes over you, uh, you're much more likely to do it. So I, I think the accountability aspect is a really big part of it because you can have the best intentions when you wake up to work out, but you, after you go through your day, it's like, ah, you know, it's been a busy day. I'll do it tomorrow. And it's always tomorrow. So um, but yeah, I just want to, I just wanted to, to kind of touch on two things there. So if there's practice owners listening, what if they, let's just say they already pay for their team members, like gym memberships, wherever, like their staff, like maybe they, they, or they, they allocate like, I don't know, 40 bucks, 60 bucks a month, whatever per staff member, uh, for them to then go and use it at whatever gym of their choice. Um, what's the differentiator there? Cause I know we kind of just talked about a little bit of it, which would be like actual accountability and like feedback, which I would then, my experience was like, I started to feel better, sleep better, like, like exercise better. Cause I was exercising more consistently. Why? Because of your accountability in the whole program. So what would be the differentiator there? Like some practice owners might not offer anything. Some might have some allocation to pay for their team members, gym memberships or something. And then your type of thing would be maybe in the same range of costs, but like could be potentially more effective for their health and wellness of their team. And then that would result in like better, potentially better productivity, better performance, all that. Yeah. Well, I think if you are, so if you're offering employees a, a gym membership, um, and I'm going to go into something that, hey, you know what? P some PTs might not like me for saying this, but this is the reality of it, right? Uh, after you send somebody, you, you know you know the rehabilitation process. But a lot of PTs don't actually understand exercise programming beyond that. Now, you yourself, you do. When we work together, you understood it. Um, th that's something that you understand, but... You know, the, the reality is, uh, I mean, you know, some PDs don't really understand what to do beyond that. So, you know, if, if they have a gym membership, uh, they could use it wisely and become a, a less destructible human being, which means they're less destructible in the clinic uh, and stress can destroy you. And, if you, you know, if, if you're reaching this level of, of fitness, uh, then you are potentially more productive. Uh, that's what I would hope. But, yeah, I mean, if it's not something that you're offering, um, you know, I've worked with with uh, businesses before um, who have offered this to their employees, um, and you know, it's, it's 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 just been a good experience because I'm communicating with them regularly. Uh, they tell me that their their employees love it um, and they're doing really well. Uh, and so it, it could be an added benefit to what you are, are giving to people. Um, so I, I think that's huge. And it, I think it benefits everybody. Got it. Uh, before you screen share, 
uh, this is something that practice owners could also, if they wanted to, they would have to do what you do, which is like write up the programs. But this is something, so now 2022, 2023 now, and, and moving forward, this, this remote therapeutic monitoring thing is getting more and more popular because now Medicare is reimbursing for it. And we don't take Medicare, but I, I, you know, other colleagues that I, I know are doing it and other people online and, you know, different people in these Facebook groups and circles and, and all that. So physical therapists can get reimbursed for therapeutic, remote therapeutic monitoring. They have to use some software. There's a bunch of apps and software and, you know, companies out there offering this. And then the Medicare beneficiary has to like log into this portal, similar to your approach. They have to probably, I think it's check off some exercises and the, and the physical therapist, and, and you can have a PT do this. You can have a PTA do this, whatever you know, doing progressions or and regressions and like a, a, a remote HEP that is then progressed or regressed uh, and Medicare reimburses for it without this Medicare beneficiary coming back into the office. They can come back into the office, I believe, in between this timeline and duration. I don't think it has to be a, a after discharge uh, offering. But anyway, there's that. The reason why I'm bringing it up is because there's all these other commercial payers and insurances that maybe in the future they might start reimbursing for. But as far as I know that all or most of the United Healthcare, Cigna, Aetna, Blue Cross, Blue Shield, Oxford, all these, as far as I know, do not reimburse for remote therapeutic monitoring. And there's a, there's a lot a, of similarities up between remote therapeutic monitoring and what you're doing with remote coaching. What remote therapeutic monitoring is a little more has to be medical necessity and, and, you know, someone maybe is in pain or whatever. So you're not treating pain, you're coaching, but I'm saying your offering is very similar where other practices could make their own true coach account or some other software, or whatever they could write up some of these programs and progressions and post discharge offering. It could be a cash or private pay service. Um, they could do that work and then they could, offer it to their patients or clients once they're discharged from formal physical therapy from their plan of care, they're discharged and they could charge them whatever. They could charge them a flat fee. They could charge them a monthly fee, whatever. But then it takes the, the practice owner or the clinic director or, or whoever the time to set up the program for that individual person and then other programs for other people based on their goals and where they're at and function, all that. So that's something I wanted to bring up because there's a lot of similarities between the remote therapeutic monitoring and what you're doing, even though what you're doing is on the coaching side and RTM is Medicare, medical necessity and all that. So any, any feedback there, I don't know if you've seen RTM or I, I know you haven't um, dealt with it too much directly. I have not. No, 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 no. But um, I have, I have heard about it. Um, yeah. Like I, I, like I said, I only practice in Massachusetts. I'm a, a license here. So um, it's not something, and when I was practicing, um, we didn't see a lot of Medicare patients. So this is not something that, that I, I know very much about. Um, but I mean, it is something that, uh, you know, something that, that sounds interesting. Um, and certainly you could set up something like I do, like uh, through, you know, I use True Coach. They don't pay me. I'm not an affiliate. But I do, but I do use True Coach. Uh, in my opinion, you know, I I, I had used uh, other, I had used other home exercise program uh, software before through other like educational companies. I'm not gonna name names, but uh, <laughs> this <laughs> this is much more this is much more uh, much more effective, easier from a user standpoint, and and I think it's. You know, I think it's easier from, uh, well, I guess it's easier from a clinician standpoint. It's easier for me, uh, and, and it's easier from a consumer standpoint, for sure. Um, Can you screen share it a bit? So if you're listening on Spotify or iTunes, I would say jump over to the YouTube, Dave Kittle Show on YouTube, and Mike's going to screen share an example of a program. And this is like basically what I was seeing on the client, you know, consumer side of things. And like, so here's an example of October 28th, Friday, October 28th, lower body day, scroll down just a little bit. So that would be the workout for that day. 
Uh, and then, so just click into any of these, Mike. Just click in the sure. like, work. Yeah, and then you can go in. Let's see if it goes. View work out. And yeah. Um, then you're here. You have your your exercise prescription. You can write in results. Uh, there are videos on it. Um, you know, some demo videos. So you can take a look at demo video. And then there's a description. But um, I don't suggest using this. I mean, I, I would write some something in in the prescription yourself because uh, you probably want to be a little more specific. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's how it works. You have the prescription here. Um, these are these are just things that I made for. Um, these are just things that I made for uh, an example uh, for people when they're signing on. Uh, they're able to take a look at the app, and I run people through the app. Uh, you know, I have a video that runs people through the app on the on the welcome email. There's a, a link to it so that they can get on it and really understand it. Um, because of course, it is something that you need to understand. It's really really quick uh, for people to catch on to and to understand how to use. Um, you know, people adapt to it very quickly. So, uh, could they? Yeah, I mean, could they use it? Uh, certainly, yeah. If they were to set up something like this, absolutely. Um, and like I said, I'm not an affiliate of True Coach, but it is effective and efficient. Yeah. So on that, you would have. So what I did is I would I would have to click off those check marks for each of the exercises. Sometimes, like I would like I would maybe I would just skip one of the exercises or I would, I would write in the, the text box. Like I did this exercise instead of this one. And I would just, I would still check it off or some things if I forgot, or if I didn't have time or whatever, I would just, you know, leave it like I didn't do it. So it'd be that red X. But if I completed that workout, then I would hit that top right hand corner and it would give me that check mark. And then the bottom was update results or, you know, submit your workout or whatever. And then if I didn't, I remember around 11 p.m. or midnight or something each night, like I would get an email or notification if I didn't complete the workout for that day. And so every day, except for a few days when I traveled, like I worked out like through this program with you and I would get this notification. I'd be like, oh, I got to like, I got to go back. It takes two seconds. I got to just check off like, did I do the exercises or not? And then I submit, it submits the workout. And so, because otherwise I know with your digital eyes on thing on the, you know, the admin or like the coach side of things that I didn't do my workout. So if I didn't do a day or two, like you would text me or, you know, message me through the, through the true coach app or whatever. Um, like, Hey, what's going on? Like, I, I saw you didn't submit your workouts, just checking in on you, whatever. Um, I had like a, a little bit of a neck, neck pain at one point And you were like, Oh, you know, do you think it's something, you know, you should <laughs> see a physical therapist for, you know, kind of, Going go into that route, which is what you would um, you know help with uh, getting clients to in person physical therapy, and then kind of back into your remote programming. So for me, it was like really seamless. And me paying for this as a real customer and going through this, that's why I was like, I was like, I want to get you on here because this is something that I think practice owners, if they don't know about it, I didn't even know about it until you were doing it and and you reached out. And like you said, practice owners are either too busy or a lot of physical therapists like don't know the full gamut of strength and conditioning programming for like, we try to get, you know, patients to be like return to sport and return to field and game ready and all that type of stuff. Um, but, but not every therapist does so, or like in some cases in a, in a, in terrible way, sometimes insurances only cover someone may only have 20 visits per calendar year or something like that. And so if you're in July and you've burned up a patient's like 20 visits per calendar year, then what, like, what if they, you know, if they had an ACL surgery, ACL repair. It, it's really hard to like conserve 20 visits. Uh, and so they're probably doing a lot of HEP stuff on their own. And so then they would need either some aftercare that they come into your clinic for, or they need something like this, where then you, they could pay you, or you connect with Mike and they do some remote programming, and then then Mike sends them back to you if and when they have some, you know, patellar pain or some, you know, hamstring issue or something like that. I mean, I don't know. What What do you think? I, those are the things that 
compelled me to say, hey, let me let me get you on here because this is something that could help practice owners. They might want to use it themselves as a as a user, as a client, maybe. Uh, they could offer it to their team members, their staff, if they wanted to. And they could also offer it as a private pay service to their patients. So that that was like the, you know, everyone could potentially benefit from this. It's it's health and wellness. We're not talking about, you know, pills and potions and, you know, injections or, you know, whatever. Th- this is like proven stuff. I felt the difference of going through it. And uh, that as as focused as I am on health and wellness, I still could use some external coaching and accountability. And if I'm at that level, I know a lot of people could benefit from even just a little bit of coaching and accountability. Yeah. And I think, I like to think this is beyond the rehab because, you know, the reality is insurance visits mainly pay, you know, they mainly pay for a certain amount of visits for ACL, but say, you know, the same patient that is beyond the rehab, and is getting stronger, getting back on the field, uh, they have a shoulder issue. Maybe their insurance only pays for the ACL for so many visits, but they need to come in for the shoulder issue. But that's something they may not go back in for, or maybe they're looking for another PT. Um, But if it's someone that I know and have a relationship with, you know, there's a standard of care, right? Uh, And for me, it's really important to get people hooked in with someone that's going to give them top notch quality care. Um, Because I think think it's really important. Uh, And, you know, there's a standard of care and it's really important for the people that I'm seeing to, to get that care. So the people that haven't been sent to me, the people that I'm seeing in other States, I need for them to be able to see a physical therapist that is, that is top notch. Someone that I have a relationship with, someone that I trust. Um, Because, you know, if you've gone through, uh, the education, you know, maybe your residency, you got your OCS, you may went through a, a fellowship, something like that. You know, there's there's a there's a standard of care there. Um, and even if you didn't, you know, there's a standard of care that it is really important for me to have my people get. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, I, I think this is beyond the rehab. Um, and having people, having people to send my clients to when they are in the States and when they're experiencing pain or some kind of orthopedic issue is really important to me. So some of the audience should probably reach out to you if they're looking to add you as a potential referral or referral referring source or referral source in their network. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so client number is getting up there and I have, you know, uh, a lot in California, a lot in Florida, um, some in Connecticut, um, you know, in, in, you know, in many of the states, um, you know, throughout the states, of course, Canada, you're maybe you're not watching this here in Canada, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, I have, I have a, a lot of clients through, through the United States. So um, I'm actually yeah, having, so- I'm having a, a mergers and acquisitions attorney uh, on the show soon. And he's in Canada and it, from his social media, it looks like he works out a bit. So I'll have to see, uh, if, you know, I'll kick him over, uh, see if he, uh, needs remote programming, but we do, we're trying to get him on and then we'll try to build out the audience here in Canada sometime this year, next year. That's amazing. Is it, he's licensed to, for the United States. He is, he is. He, he said he, he could do both. Uh, I don't know if it's, per state or what, but, or maybe he can do limited, uh, limited, uh, law consultations or work. I'm not sure how that works. So I'll have to ask him. Yeah. All right. So, um, at this point, what would be maybe a a final, final wrap? Uh, what would be something for practice owners to think about whether it's their own health and wellness, their health and wellness and their performance, their team, uh, their patients, the way that patients uh, access therapy, uh, health and wellness of their patients, re-entering therapy from a remote coach like you, and and so someone who can bridge the gap a lot better than a traditional just personal trainer who just wants to keep that client forever. And you, as a physical therapist, know if you have a remote client, like they're going to need some 
in-person physical therapy for whatever orthopedic issue based on like whatever they're telling you, there's, there's signs, symptoms, whatever, and you're not going to, you, you can't treat that. So what, what is just a distinction uh, just to wrap up in terms of like this offering, this idea uh, and how uh, practice owners can reach you? Yeah. Let, let me, um, I'll, I'll let them know how they can reach me. Um, so I like to think of really the empty cup analogy. And it's not just for, you know, it's not just for the, the employees. It, it's, it's for the employers too. It's, it's for anybody who's busy. You're working all day. You got a lot of things on your plate. Uh, health and wellness is, is not one of the things that you're probably thinking about. Uh, maybe it is, but you, you just aren't getting to it. Uh, and that's where something that's remote, uh, something that's easy to get into, something you just grab and go with um, that can help you have more clarity during the day, be more productive during the day, have less burnout during the day. I mean, these are all things, the things that I work with are all things that are going to make you a less destructive human being. Um, you know, that, that's, that's what this program is for. You know, as far as, as far as me seeing, you know, I do have clients in a lot of their states, but as far as me seeing them, yeah, you know, I advocate for the profession and I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to treat those patients because it's not, you know, for me, they're not patients, right? They're clients. When they go over to the patients, uh, when they, when they start to be patients, they need to see physical therapists. And that's just, that's just, that's just the reality. That's, that's the reality, right? They need to see physical therapists um, if they want to get treated for pain. Uh, so it, it, like, it, it's really important for me to have those connections um, to be able to send them to people that I trust, people that I have relationships with. Um, and, you know, I guess, how can they reach me? How can people reach me? Um, you can reach me at uh, Michael Avulet, PTDPTOCS on Facebook. Uh, my personal account is Michael Avulet. Um, my Instagram handle is Evolved Health PT. Uh, they can reach me, phone number 413 uh, And they can go to my website, check it out, evolvedhealthpt.org. Uh, and those are all the ways that people can get a hold of me. Dave, thank you for having me on. I really appreciate it. Uh, always good talking to you. Um, and I appreciate you having this podcast because I've been learning a lot from it. Awesome. Well, and if you're in the audience and you find this valuable and interesting, if you've learned something, then you should, should subscribe to the YouTube as well as iTunes and Spotify. And we'll catch you here next time on the Dave Kittle show. Hey, it's Dave Kittle. Are you a healthcare business owner or physical therapy practice owner who is looking to figure out your succession plan or exit strategy? We might be able to help. And in fact, we may be interested in acquiring your practice. If you're interested, you can reach out to me. Shoot me an email at dave at conciergepainrelief.com. That's D-A-V-E at C-O-N-C-I-E-R-G-E, painrelief.com or you can call me at any time, 646-781-8884.